Three-year-olds love to cook. They love to cook because it's real. They can make it, I did it myself. They can try something that they've never tried before. Parents will always say, my child will never eat that. They, he never eats a green vegetable. But if you put green vegetables out and they cut them and they chop them and they put them in a soup or they skewer them onto a shish kebab, I guarantee they will eat it. And it's so funny when parents come back and say, what do you mean they ate that? They would never eat that at home. But even at home, if you make it with them, they will eat it. And they like doing something like that. It's, you start from the very beginning with very simple things. Fruit kebab is a great thing to make, or a fruit salad. You can talk about the fruit, what it is, what kinds of fruit, what do they look like when they're whole, what happens when you cut them up. Um, where do they come from? Where were they grown? Do they grow on a tree? Do they grow on the ground, on a bush? What color is it? What does it taste like? Um, what is its texture? Every single sense is being used in the cooking experience. So you're smelling it and tasting it and touching it and feeling it. And you're thinking about all those things when you're doing that. The idea that they did that themselves, that they made it themselves, that's the most exciting thing for kids. They love that. And if you make it yourself, you're going to eat it. And if you share that experience with your parents or with your classmates, you have a shared experience of something that is almost like, it's very family-like. It's very central to who you are as a human being to, to share feel, meals and food together. There's so much culture that can be built into food. When you think about one of the ways we can learn about different cultures is the way different cultures eat. What are the foods that are common among cultures? What are our cultures different? Why is rice really an important uh, food in the world? And where is the food made? Where do we get our food from? Uh, why don't they eat certain foods in certain countries? The cultural element of what you have to learn about food helps you really understand another perspective and another, another kind of way of the, of the world.